Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. After liberals trashed the Obamacare repeal bill, Trump fought back and said two words that changed everything. For the last few days, a new Obamacare repeal bill has been picking up steam around the Senate. It looks so promising, in fact, that liberals have been relentless on attacking it. They keep claiming that it will force people with pre-existing conditions off their insurance and kill them as a result. Except for one problem. They are dead wrong. Now President Trump has shown up himself to fight back. Tonight Trump announced to the world that the bill does protect people with pre-existing conditions or else he would not sign it. Since day one of his campaign, Donald Trump made it clear he cares about people with those conditions by declaring he did not want to just repeal Obamacare, but instead repeal and replace it. It was interesting that President Trump then decided to defend the intentions of one of the authors of the bill, Senator Cassidy, while leaving Lindsey Graham out. To be honest with you all. I have a pre-existing condition and benefited from the insurance protections long enough to be able to start my business and pay my own way. However, since then Obamacare has collapsed and failed in every possible way. Trump's concern for this was always important to me, and I believe he will hold it. If you agree that Trump really does care about the American people, help him share his message to everyone so they can see the truth about the Obamacare repeal. After Trump's UN address, Clinton has schizophrenic meltdown on live TV. Hillary Clinton won't go away, and now we know why. In her head, she's still pretending she's president. During an interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Clinton was asked whether she saw Donald Trump's spectacular address to the UN. She claimed that she had. Then it got weird. Clinton suddenly began to her own UN address to the Colbert audience. We view this as dangerous to our allies, to the region, and even to our country. We call on all nations to work with us to try to end the threat posed by Kim Jong-un, Clinton began. We will not tolerate any attacks on our friends or ourselves, but you should lead with diplomacy. You should lead with the commitment to try to avoid conflict however you can. This poor, confused woman. She can't accept that she lost. So she's planning fake addresses to the United Nations and giving them on late night TV. How sad. Share and comment go away. So that Clinton finally realizes that no one cares. She's not president, she needs to sulk away like the many losers before her. Right after revealing heartbreaking disease, Ivanka looked into camera and did the incredible. Ivanka Trump has dealt with many challenges through the campaign trail, the election, and living as an integral part of the first family. Include her responsibilities as a loving wife and mother of three, and it's hard not to be impressed that she's been able to keep such a pace. Unfortunately, many of the world's most stable and healthy women lose the fight against postpartum depression. The first daughter, who's married to Jared Kushner, explained the debilitating disorder left her feeling like she was letting everyone down. During a taping of the Dr. Oz show, Ivanka revealed that she had suffered postpartum with each of her three children, Arabella, 6, Joseph, 3, and Theodore, 18 months. It was a very challenging emotional time for me. Unsurprisingly, the most difficult symptom for Ivanka to handle was feeling useless. I felt like I was not living up to my potential as a parent, or as an entrepreneur, or as an executive, she told Dr. Oz. I had such easy pregnancies that in some ways the juxtaposition hit me even harder. But what Ivanka did next stunned the viewers and even Dr. Oz. The first daughter sent a message of hope to all women in the world who have been afflicted by this horrible disorder. It's incredibly important and look, I consider myself a very hard charging person. Trump said. I am ambitious, I'm passionate, I'm driven, 
but this is something that affects parents all over the country. She's not kidding, either. Postpartum depression affects one in every eight women, with oftentimes severely devastating symptoms. The unbelievable thing is how Ivanka could continue to be such a high-energy person with so much sadness and exhaustion. But we haven't seen different from any member of the first family, and President Trump continues to showcase a different level of energy in the White House. Most importantly, however, is the level of selflessness from Ivanka Trump. She had no reason to air her personal issues with the world, but did so in an attempt to educate and support. These are the real problems that face real Americans daily, and I for once stand up and applaud Mrs. Trump for speaking out for those who can't. Are you proud of Ivanka? Tell us what you think and then share this beautiful message with the world. Sources, Fortune.com Sweet Revenge after Hollywood bashed Trump at the Emmys, he turned around and crushed them with this brutal response. The 2017 Emmy Awards were disgusting to say the least. The entire event turned out to be one big Trump bashing fest. Our president was called a racist, a bigot and a sexist by some of the biggest names in Hollywood. Donald Glover even blamed President Trump for making black people the number one most oppressed group. Someone needs to remind Mr. Glover that Democrats are to thank for that one, not Trump. But even with all of the name-calling and liberal hate, Trump ended up getting the last laugh. This year's Emmy Awards suffered the worst ratings of any Emmy telecast. Ever. The president took to Twitter to share his feelings on the matter. I was saddened to see how bad the ratings were on the Emmys last night, the worst ever. Smartest people of them all are the deplorables. President Trump is right. His base refused to watch and it sent an undeniable message to Hollywood that was heard loud and clear. If these award shows ever want to get their ratings back, they need to start treating our president with the respect he deserves. Trump did something insane to save a country from Saudi Arabia and nobody said a word. It's clear to everyone at this point that President Donald Trump is absolutely hated by the media. So much so, apparently, that he went and saved an entire country and we're just now finding out. In case y'all were unaware of this, not that long ago Saudi Arabia and the UAE were blaming all the recent terror attacks on Qatar. It actually got so bad that they were gonna do a joint military campaign to take out the Qatari government. That's when Trump stepped in. The president got the two countries to agree to withhold any major military actions, saying it will cause a border crisis with all the newly homeless families. The one condition is he himself would negotiate the terms. And yesterday what did he do? Trump met with the emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamid Al Thani, on Tuesday where he said, it's my great honor to be with the Emir of Qatar. We've been friends a long time. People don't realize that. We've known each other for a long time. And we are right now in a situation where we're trying to solve a problem in the Middle East and I think we'll get it solved. I have a very strong feeling that it will be solved pretty quickly. But we're talking also trade and many other things. That sounds great, however. Saudi Arabia immediately said the situation was not solved and the war was still coming. The question now is which one is bluffing? If you think you have figured it out, leave an answer in the comments and help us get this shared as quickly as possible. President Trump is actually negotiating peace in the Middle East. Right after her big interview, Trump destroyed Hillary Clinton with a one monstrous sentence. I was hoping not to have to bring her up again, but this time it was just too darn amazing the way President Trump took down Hillary Clinton this morning. So last night she was flying high after a softball interview on Stephen Colbert's show. She talked crap on the way Trump handled North Korea and even tried to give him tips on how to handle it. That's when Trump decided enough is enough. He woke up early, picked up his phone, 
and reminded the world that it was Hillary Clinton's foreign policy that gave North Korea nukes in the first place. Ouch! The truth hurts, don't it hell airy? All of America think you should go crawl back into that dungeon you came from and not come back in public or political life, you know, ever. The president clearly wants to humiliate her back to where she came from, so help him by sharing this everywhere. After Melania gave amazing speech at UN, somebody disgusting stabbed her in the back. Liberals are disgusting. First Lady Melania Trump gave a beautiful speech at the UN on Wednesday. Melania called for people to protect the children. No child should ever feel hungry, stalked, frightened, terrorized, bullied, isolated or afraid, with nowhere to turn. We need to step up, come together, and ensure that our children's future is bright, Melania said at a luncheon in New York. Liberals immediately attacked her for President Trump Trump's bullying, mainly referring to internet memes he posts. Liberals then immediately attacked Melania Trump for the bullying that they think Trump does. The left has no sense of humor anymore. It is awful. Share this if you support our First Lady and aren't ashamed. We have to fight back against the wickedness in this world perpetrated on children. It's funny to see liberals perpetrate wickedness on Melania's child literally after she spoke about it. Keep fighting, y'all.